Hi, everyone. This is John Replinger, Science Librarian at Willamette University. And thanks for joining us to kick off this AI literacy series. So much of this content was covered during the uh, 2024 College Colloquium this past spring. Um, this is just in smaller chunks and also updated. Um, so the first one is going to focus on AI use by students and student expectations. So this past spring, Inside Higher Ed surveyed about 1,200 students to see if they thought their institution should prepare them for AI. This graph shows an increasing expectation for their institution to provide AI training by class. And you'll notice that the class of 2027 has a clear majority. The same study looked at how AI is impacting career choices. It's not surprising that arts and humanities was uh, least impacted. However, overall, each discipline is relatively similar. And this shows that AI is impacting student decisions when selecting careers. Now, we don't know how this impacts students, good or bad, but it is impacting them. A different study in the UK looked at student perception of AI, and these are some of the takeaways. Students are using AI as a digital assistant, and they're not just using it to provide answers, but not just answers. They're using it as a personal tutor to fill in knowledge gaps and to support active learning and critical thinking. Some other interesting aspects of this survey shows that students are becoming aware of equity concerns, those who can afford better AI and those who can't. And they're beginning to realize that AI models contain biases. And they expect AI to be integrated throughout their entire education by educators who are competent with AI and policies at their institution that ensure fairness and effective AI-enhanced learning environments. So how are students actually using AI? They're using AI to address knowledge gaps. They use it as a personal tutor, particularly for off hours. They can ask questions repeatedly until they understand without feeling stupid. So there's no judgment. They can use AI to role play and to come at something from a different perspective. It is incredibly helpful for language support, particularly for non-native speakers. Students who are neurodivergent use AI to help organize and focus on their tasks that need to be completed. They can get immediate feedback and check their answers. It is also helpful for improving communication. So checking for professional tone uh, and editing for clarity. So in terms of research, students really like the single interface because it makes things simple and streamlined for research. Um, they can quickly explore new topics. They can discover new sources and get help with identifying relevant work so they can spend more time on what they view as important content. So important thing is what they perceive uh, as important. Yes, they do use AI to summarize lengthy content, mostly to save time, but also to help them get a clear and concise understanding um, they also use AI for creative problem solving to think outside of the box and to supplement skills that they may not have mastered yet, such as scripting. In terms of creativity, students use and view AI as a collaborator in the creative process. So generating ideas, helping to draft mock-ups and create visuals, to creatively explore and play and uh, to learn. Students can quickly and easily manipulate images for a specific purpose. They create rough outlines for ideas and they develop timing for storyboards. Some of the other uses that students use AI for include personal support, um, personal goals as a way of finding information, maybe discreetly for physical mental issues. They use it for recommendations and directions. They use it for improving communications. Uh, as mentioned before, and emotional support. Um, one of the things that I find really interesting is uh, that they create emails through bullet points. So this is a broad overview of how students are actually using AI and also their perspectives and expectations of AI training. 
please feel free to send me questions, comments, and please check out some of the um, other videos about AI coming up. Thanks.